So why do people not believe in reality shifting? This is an interesting topic because there have been lots of channels, one in particular, you know who you are, who uh, don't seem to believe in reality shifting for whatever reason. Or they would, you know, just consider it to be like another part of lucid dreaming, which I, I can see the connection and they certainly are linked in some ways, but the idea itself is very different and I'm gonna get onto why. So why do people think it's fake? The first one is programming. Throughout our lives, as you've probably noticed, we've been programmed to believe certain things. One of them is that we're this helpless victim. We have no control over things. Things just happen to us and we, there's nothing we can do about it. We're just this helpless kind of avatar who's stuck on this planet, just experiencing these bad things. And, you know, some people, some lucky people manage to, you know, create their own life, get rich, live the life of their dreams. But that's that's other people, that's not me. That's like someone else, someone lucky who, who caught a break. But me, I'm just this helpless, you know, weak victim. And this has been, you know, reinforced throughout various media, stereotypes, school systems, society, and sadly, some influences. So the idea that we're this victim is simply not true, or at least it doesn't have to be true. You, you will experience, basically, whatever you subconsciously and consciously believe to be true. You know, everything is under the, in that respect, everything really is a choice uh, in terms of what you want to experience or what you don't want to experience. So going back to shifting, uh, society uh, as a whole has programmed or told you that basically this is the reality you're in, you're stuck with it. You're a victim, maybe you'll get lucky, but the chances are you're just gonna have to work a job you hate for 40 years, then you retire, then you die. That's the kind of like the storyline, the narrative that you've been told is true. So then TikTok comes along and TikTok, as you know, is a, a popular social media app. It's very popular, especially with young people, but uh, really any age now um, seem to be on this app and using it for sharing ideas. It used to be just about dancing and music. Now it's about ideas. Uh, and the idea of reality shifting became insanely popular, as I'm sure you know. Um, there, you know, obviously there was uh, there was a group of shifters who focused on the idea of Harry Potter for some reason. I don't know why you love that movie so much. I guess you really wanted to go to Hogwarts, and that's <laughs> that's why you were interested in it, and that's fine. And then there's the other group of people who came into shifting, and really something just clicked for you. Maybe this is you, right? You you maybe you saw a video about shifting. Maybe you saw a video about shifting. You liked the idea and something what we call resonated, meaning something just seemed to click within you. It's almost as if you knew the idea before, you knew this was true, but now you're remembering it. Now you are seeing what you couldn't see before. You're, you're kind of remembering something you always knew deep down. This is not talking about your brain memory, I'm talking about your soul memory and the deep down vibratory things that happen when you, when something, when you see an idea and you, deep down in your soul, you know it to be true. So that's why it just really resonates with you. This is why certain movies get really popular. It's because deep down we, we know that certain aspects are true. It clicks with us. Reality shifting is one of those things. So why do people still think it's fake? So like I said, we have the programming. Okay, we have people, society telling us that we can't change our reality, that thoughts don't become things, uh, and that we're this victim. That's one reason. Another reason is that people tell them it's not real. Other influencers, for example, if you're uh, an influencer and you and you say, I don't think shifting's real. Maybe there's other influencers you look up to who are more science-based or they, they only believe something ha is true if it's been proven in a lab with a team of scientists for whatever purpose or agenda with who knows what funding going on in the background. Um, that's that's the only way something can be proven to be true. Even when it's something so fundamental that we can all prove objectively and subjectively <laughs> in our own reality that it's true, that's another reason. And I think the third reason, probably the strongest reason that, you, that people as a whole think that it's kind of crazy, it's fake, is because when you haven't done something for so, so long, your entire life even, right, when you've never tried to flex this muscle, as it were. 
you have to start from scratch. The programming is too strong, you know. So when, if you've gone your whole life thinking that something, whatever it is, you know, shifting, uh, doing a pull up, <laughs> it, you know, it could literally be anything. You've gone your whole life thinking something is impossible for you. You can't do that. Then when you try and do it, you're going to be fighting not only against the mechanics of it, the technique, the motor movements, if it's a, you know something physical, or the mental steps you need to go through. Not only are you fighting against that, but you're also fighting against yourself, your subconscious beliefs. And anyone who knows, you know, even a small amount about lucid dreaming knows that your subconscious beliefs are a huge part of whether you will actually do it or not. And if you, you know, really believe that it's difficult for you, if you've maybe even tried a few times before and you've had a failure, you haven't been able to do it, and that's reinforced your subconscious belief. So now, and a classic sign of this is if you find yourself leaving comments or talking to people and saying, I can never seem to lucid dream, or it never works for me. When you use these absolutes like never or always, it, I always forget my dreams in the morning. That's a very strong sign that you have a strong subconscious belief that is holding you back. And every time you say that, you're making it stronger. So the same applies to shifting. Every time you tell yourself or leave a comment saying, oh, I can't seem to shift. I never manage to shift. Shifting is fake. Every time you do that, you're, it becomes more true for you, not for anybody else, but for you specifically, because you're reinforcing that belief uh, in your subconscious mind. And once you, once you realize this, the only thing that needs to change is the words you use uh, and the thoughts you think. So if you've always told yourself, shifting is fake, I can't shift, or shifting isn't real, shifting isn't proven, uh, shifting is just lucid dreaming. If, you've, if you are one of those people, that's absolutely fine. I don't blame you. It's not your fault. But it's easy to change. It's very easy to change. All you need to do is flip everything around on its head and start telling yourself, even out of curiosity, even if you don't, if you don't think it's going to work, trick yourself to believing that it will work just to see what will happen, just to see, and only you will know in your, you know, deep down in your heart, only you will know if you truly are trying to trick yourself to believe it, or if you're just going through the motions of saying, I believe in shifting, but in your head you're thinking, it's a load of nonsense. If you truly attempt to make yourself believe something, in this case shifting, you, your experiences will be so much different. And it can happen fairly quickly. It can even happen the same day. And this applies to lucid dreaming as well. Uh, it also applies to anything where thoughts, you know, anything where we're talking about the idea of thoughts creating or affecting things. Lucid dreaming, astral travel, shifting, manifestation, um, really any of those things. It's all about the words you say, what you believe, and the thoughts you think. So, yeah. Anyone who's skeptical, please try this. And don't do it to prove me wrong. Do it to, out of, out of curiosity, to try and prove yourself wrong. Just out of curiosity. I mean, you must be a bit curious, right? What if it is true? What if it is real? I'm talking to the skeptics now, of course. Uh, most people on, I think most people on this channel know that your thoughts create things and you, there is this connection. Everything being connected, you know, your thoughts, your subconscious mind, your conscious mind, your body, and that's the 3D stuff. And then beyond that, you have the 4, 5, 6D astral body. You know, it goes on and on. Uh, but that's for another video. If you're curious or skeptical, try it out and just see what happens.